The library has many types of study spaces that can be reserved in advance. Here's how to do it. Pull up a browser and type in library.mtsu.edu. Once you've reached the library's website, you will see four large blue icons in the middle of the page. You will select the second icon, Reserve Rooms. Once you've selected Reserve Rooms, three options will present themselves, a group study room, meeting place two, and a presentation practice room. If you select a group study room, you will be directed to the entire list of reservable rooms at the James E. Walker Library. Before you select which type of room to reserve, you will want to have an idea of what you want to accomplish during this reservation. If you would like to have a meeting with up to 16 people in a semi-enclosed area, meeting place two is a great option. If you would like to practice and or record a presentation, a presentation room would be a great choice. If you'd like to study independently or with a small group of people, a group study room on the fourth floor is a great option. If you are a graduate student that would like to study independently or with a small group, there are graduate study rooms on the third floor. There's also a Makerspace green screen room available for various Makerspace activities. Once you've decided which room to reserve, click on the bolded blue letters for the appropriate room. Before making a reservation, please take a moment to read the description of each room to familiarize yourself with any rules or restrictions currently in place. The information given will inform you of all available equipment in the room as well as for how many hours a room can be checked out. Once you have finished reading the rules and restrictions, scroll down the page until you see a block of red and green time slots. The date is located above the time slots, so before you make a reservation, double check the date to ensure that the reservation is for the correct one. Red blocks indicate reserved time slots, while green indicate open time slots. Once you find a time and location that fits your needs, select the green box for when you are available to begin using the room. Once a time slot is selected, you will be directed to the bottom of the page. The page will show your room number and its beginning reservation time you will see a white box. In this box, you will select the ending time for your reservation. Keep in mind that if someone has reserved for the room, the room for an hour, two, or three later, you will not be able to take advantage of the entire time limit allowed for a room. Select the end time of the reservation, keeping room time limits in mind. Once you make the selection, you will again see a list of terms and conditions for use of the room and information about retrieving the room reservation. In order to complete the reservation, you will need to fill in the blanks provided with appropriate information. First name, last name, and your MTSU email. You will also need to select how many people will be in your group, in addition to agreeing to the terms and conditions of the space. It's important to keep in mind that the information you give here must match the MTSU ID that is used to retrieve the reservation in person. Once you have filled in the blanks with your information, press the Submit My Booking button to ensure that your reservation goes through. If you do not do this and you do not see this screen, your reservation will not go through and it is possible that someone else will take this subsequently open space. Once you have re successfully reserved a room, you will receive a confirmation email with your reservation's details. There is a link at the bottom of the confirmation email that will allow you to cancel any reservations that you have made. Here's some general information about checking out your room. You can check out your room 10 minutes before the start of the allotted reservation. You have until 30 minutes after the start of the reservation to check out the room. If you do not arrive before then, your reservation will be deleted. The type of room that you have reserved will affect where you go to obtain your reservation. If you have selected an individual study room, you will go to the first floor service desk. If you have re reserved a graduate study room, you will go to the third floor curriculum desk. If you have reserved meeting place two, a presentation practice room, or the Makerspace green screen room, you will go to the Makerspace desk on the second floor. Dry erase markers are checked out at the service desk on the first floor. And if you are unsure of where your reserved room is, the first floor service desk can provide a map and directions to your room.